moment here because I'm here with one of my favourite teachers and mentors and a yogi teacher, Gwyn Williams, who has been teaching yoga on the Sunshine Coast for... Oh, well, maybe a little while. <laughs> Around a decent 10, while. 10, 12 years, something yeah. like that, I suppose. 12 years. And maybe. most people who... Um, come to the Sunshine Coast to do yoga would know Gwyn Williams. It's like a household name for, for yogis. So if you can ever get to the coast, get yourself to a class with Gwyn. We're actually here at Wonderlust on the Sunshine Coast. Gwyn is teaching all over the timetable. Yeah. <laughs> and as you know, we're all about the love tank and learning tools to fill ourselves up. So Gwyn's going to actually share with us today. He doesn't really know what he's actually about to share. Um, <laughs> First of all, Gwyn, how does someone like you, obviously you're a yoga teacher and you're very familiar with how to fill yourself up, um, but how do you know when you're feeling a little depleted and, and a little bit empty? What are your trigger points? Yeah, first of all, thank you. You're very humbled by your words. Very humbled, so it's great. But I feel as far as, as filling is actually not, just, it's the first thing is noticing when you're not full. So that's really oh, my so first tick in is down. that Okay, where am I? Where am I in this listening scale? Am I am, am I am I practicing this art of listening all the time? And if I'm not listening, then I'm going to be depleted. So the first step mm. is making sure that I've got that receptivity tank on that says that wow, I'm listening, I'm being honest, rather than trying just to force myself to be there. So I love this love tank yeah. issue. Stop pretending. Let's let's be honest. You know, when we're flat, we're flat. What do we need to do? And I always see energy is like a battery mm. and the best batteries have great polarity. So for me it's like, is your yang needing to be so like fired up? For some people, maybe my wife's a bit like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or is your yin need to be nourished, which is probably me. I'm turning to, I tend to burn the candle both ends a bit too much. So for me, my, my flatness usually comes to, to, to get that yin polarity up, which means me just slowing down and Stay, taking a step in nature occasionally maybe in summer I'm actually getting I get more fired up by this polarity of like going for a run or doing a strong asana class so it's just tuning in in this polarity which one needs to be cultivated which one needs to fertilize to, to keep that happening because we all work in these polarities and Sometimes, if you may be like me, I just love to burn myself, but all of a sudden I find myself burnt myself silly and I yep. go, wow, come on, come on, come on. Receive and, Receive and be okay receiving. And in a yang dominated society, that's where we usually go wrong because it's a do, do, do society. So that's where we go, you know what? It's actually toxic to do, do, do all the time. If we can be a bit of a rebel against that and say, stop doing and be, usually we'll feel that that love tank is, is happening again, isn't it? And speaking of the love tank and getting out and being at one with nature, I know you're here and working and I think you had an early morning session yeah, this morning, but I may on. have seen you a little bit earlier than that, Thank running you. across the road with your surfboard. So yeah. there is a fine example of someone here and working and facilitating, but taking the time to fill up your own love tank by That's having right. a surf and being out with nature. So is that really one of your... It is, you know, Anthony Robbins was a, a book I read when I was, you know, in my early 20s, he said, an hour of power is yeah, how you start yeah. your day and yeah. I love that. For me I need that, I need that hour of power, I don't be around people, I'm in nature, I'm either surfing, I'm running, I'm climbing mountains, I'm doing something but it's my hour of power and usually there's a little bit of a meditative component around it as well but yeah I just feel that's a great, it's like okay I've started the day with some elixir and it's about me so then when we step out as, as samurai, as service people, which we all are, we've got a tank to, fit to give from. Yeah I love that. You know? Can I ask you Gwen though, not everyone has that hour so what could you suggest to someone maybe they're perhaps the mums at home with kids thinking mm, you know my kids mm. are up at 5am mm. i'm one of them um, yeah, 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 yeah. what's something else that perhaps someone can do with maybe a short version could you give maybe a quick couple of tips yeah, yeah. Gwyn's tips for a quick 15 minute power session well you know the, the, the first thing is i say get get in nature you know yeah. and, and and to me i say what, what's really important that we get up maybe a little bit before everyone else gets up. I would say go to bed a little bit earlier and get up earlier. Yep. So get, get up early. Get up when I say when the bird is catching the worm. That would be great. Make sure that, we're all, that you're drinking really awesome water. You know, that's such a big clear, just a big clear thing. And, you know, when we're at the traffic light with five kids in your car and they're all screaming, you can still be meditating. You know, you can yep. still be following your breath. You can be going, wow, you know what? You guys are off and I'm actually just in my this. breath. I know? got this. <laughs> so yeah. like, it's like, where do you want to place your attention? 
on the chaos or on what's really happening inside, you know. Something so, beautiful. Yeah. So early to bed, early to rise, drinking clean water and mindfulness at the traffic lights. Yes, yeah, attention, come on. I love this. <laughs> Great. So tell me, where, where's next for Gwyn Williams? Can we have a little uh, snippet? Well, I don't want to look too far ahead. I'm going to go enjoy a class <laughs> as a student because yeah, I love awesome. being a student. And, you know, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, I suppose I've reached to a phase of my life where my kids have got that little bit older. So I really feel I'm stepping into a little bit more service these days. Yeah. It's wonderful to see the Chinese medicine organically move into asana a little bit with a big, a big therapy focus. But... Always my, my heart is on community, so there's a big, big calling for me there. And look where we live, a Sunshine Coast community, you know. So okay, great. So, so and it, that's there for It's me. the community that is really making a significant difference to people's lives. So if you're on the other side of that screen and perhaps even struggling to even wake up in the morning and get motivated, yeah. then surround yourself with people who are like-minded. If something makes you feel mm. good, go out there and connect with those people. Mm. I know that that has certainly helped me with yoga. You know, I've attracted so many awesome people into my life. Yeah, you know, when we talk about being filled up, we sometimes get disillusioned as what, what do we actually get from something? What do we get from life? What do you give to life? Isn't yep. that, that fuels me. Yep. Does that fuel you? I couldn't agree more, yeah. <laughs> this is why I developed the love tank. Yeah, so great. if you get yourself a 35 yeah. out of 35, you're so full, you're then able to, the flow on effect, you sure. are then able to give sure. to your children, to your community, and it's a, it's a selfless yeah. service. And I believe that's what wheel. it's all about. You're in the and wheel. you're in flow. You are, you're in the flow. You're in the wheel, you're in the flow. This is Gwen Williams. Uh, it's an honour to, to speak with you and to see you here at Wanderlust. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Namaste. Beautiful. Namaste. <laughs>